Kelly here. How are you? I was just down at Rincon, catching a few waves, and I'm um, just running through my new quiver for Australia. This is the first board I rode today. This is a, a flyer, otherwise known as the whip. One that worked good for me on the Gold Coast. I won Bells and the Gold Coast the other year on one of these. This one's actually um, epoxy. You can see with the light there, it's got a double concave deck, so my foot just kind of sinks right down in there. So I'm trying to kind of work that into my boards. That's a 5.9 and it felt great. The second board I rode today, this is something, I don't know what it's called. It's, uh, it's a 5.6 and it's it's this it's just this quad or thruster option it's got like a double barrel concave but this one we really dug the deck out it's a really sunken in concave deck just trying to see what that feels like with the foot really sunk down in there it didn't quite keep the stiffness and it felt like the rocker was bending too much and pushing so you know it's just something we're trying i have another one similar to it, it feels really good it didn't feel amazing but you know we're getting somewhere with it Next board I rode today, this is a, just my typical squash tail, but this one's a little different. We're putting a little flex in the tails. We kind of uh, chopped the string out of there, so it, it flexes a little bit, but it's probably about a 510 squash tail. V, a little bit of V out the back. To be honest, this one didn't feel great either, but you know, they were kind of weird little waves. And I'm used to riding these wider boards lately, smaller, wider boards. Uh, I jumped on this board, which is a uh, Dane's dumpster diver. Wow. So it's just like a kind of flat rocker, and there's a lot of a lot of concave in it, and it's got you know a little bit of a wide tail. It's only about five six, and uh, I don't know over 19 inches wide. But it's a fun little board, rides right in the pocket, and uh, this one's also um, epoxy. I would say uh, the first board I rode was the best, and uh, this board was a sort of number two behind it. And then the other ones were kind of trailing somewhere behind. I also have a, a couple other boards here that I typically ride. This is my wizard sleeve with a pointy nose. This is actually the board that I rode at, um, I rode at Toto Santos. So I might take this one down and uh, try it out down in Australia. And I got a couple of other things here. I'm working on a few different things and uh, plan on having them down in Australia with me to test out. But I definitely jumped on one board today that felt amazing and uh, pretty excited to ride that as snapper. I almost forgot we've got the uh, the infamous channel bottom. This thing's a trip really out there but uh, I rode it the other day and I should have ridden it at Rincon today I kind of blew it I should have ridden it but um, I rode it the other day uh, at a punchy beach break and it felt pretty cool you can see there's like this hole in the bot in the top and it feeds air down into this channel and it's real fast so that's the idea to be really fast but um, I didn't surf it enough to know if it's really great or but it does great, but I don't know. If I can fit it in a bag, I might take it down to Oz. Otherwise, I'll get to it when I get back, but kind of a cool idea, something different.